Hi, so we're going to take a quick look at how to reset the BIOS password on a computer. So where this is a part of our, uh, you know, how to clone a computer, but, but sometimes what has happened is you come into a new computer lab or anywhere with computers that, <laughs> that basically some person or some, you know, maybe some user, maybe some malicious user, maybe the last tech that didn't leave any information uh, leaves a room full of computers all with their BIOS locked and you can't boot to a USB and you can't do much with the computer until... Uh, until you're able to get to those boot options, okay? So in this case, if we go ahead and turn on this computer here, uh, we're gonna see that the, uh, the BIOS is locked. So we're gonna F1. Now every brand of computer has a different hotkey combination on boot. Uh, and so basically what we get here is that we, um, we get this enter password, right? Uh, and so we don't know the password in theory. Uh, so we're gonna have to go ahead and reset that. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn off the computer. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up the back of the computer. Now, in this case, we're dealing with this all-in-one uh, computer here. But this works for any computer with a motherboard. And so the next, your next step is to go get the manual for the computer. Or you can just look at the motherboard. If you don't feel like looking for the manual, I can tell you it's pretty easy to find. Uh, and we're going to take a look at the one on this computer in particular. Okay. But every computer motherboard has on it what's called a jumper, okay? And a jumper is, um, is just a switch. It's kind of an old school switch on computer equipment that basically you switch how the electricity is flowing on a motherboard or another component and it will do something for you. In this case, the jumper will uh, set the BIOS back to some original factory setting that has no password on it, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and open up this computer very first thing, of course, when you're dealing with any, any electronic equipment is just unplug the whole thing, okay? Now, we're not going to get into power supplies. We're not going to get into uh, anything else like that, um, So, uh, which is good, okay? So we're not going to get into anything else like that. Um, so we don't really have to worry about discharging power. Um, in theory, we should be using some kind of electric discharge device or not in this case, just because uh, I'm pretty certain about what we're doing. So you're just going to go ahead and open the case. Now in th these cases are a little bit odd just because they're, um, you know, they're uh, it's an all-in-one device. Oops. And invariably, I leave something in the USB that causes a problem here. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and open up the back of the computer. No problem. All right. Okay. So and we're going to set that aside. Now this is the motherboard, right? So we have our motherboard here. Uh, this is a common components for any computer. In the case, in this case, we're looking for something along the lines of this right here. If you look at this, this is a jumper. All right, so I'm going to take a close look with our camera here. All right, so this is the jumper. And basically what we're going to do with this jumper is that right next to it, in words that you can barely see, okay, uh, if I kind of zoom in here, hopefully you can see them. What you're going to see are these two little white, in this white lettering, it says clear CMOS, okay? And that's what you're looking for, C-L-R-C-M-O-S, right? Clear CMOS. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that, okay? And you can kind of watch me do it here. So a jumper basically just means you're connecting two wires. So we're going to take a pair of uh, needle nose pliers. We're going to take off the jumper off one side, put it back on the other. You know, nothing comes out of the computer. We just switch where the jumper is located. Uh, so if you didn't see me do that there, let me do it again for you. Okay, so there we have it. We're, all we're going to do, it was, this was the original position that's operating correctly. I'm just going to take it and move it over to the other position, all right? Okay, so that is the jumper, all right? So now that the jumper is set, all we're going to do is repower on the computer and give the computer a chance to reset the the BIOS, okay? So the BIOS is stored in the CMOS, I believe. I should look these things up, probably. Um, all right, so I don't really need to get on that back on there too well here. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. We're gonna tilt it back up for just a second. It's gonna turn on.
And if you can hear it, I'm putting the, the microphone up to it. Basically, it gives you a series of beeps. And then the series of beeps will change, and at that point, you know the CMOS is overridden. Okay. When in doubt, just wait a couple of minutes. All right, so let's go ahead, and now we need to reopen the computer and kind of redo exactly what we just did. So we un we, uh, remove the power, open the computer back up, and then we're going to um, reset those jumpers. So we're going to go ahead and do exactly the opposite thing here. Okay. So once again, we're just going to move that jumper back to its original position. There we have it. Okay. And then we're going to reattach the case. If I can be honest with you, the cases are often the hardest part. <laughs> it's funny. It's like a it's like a puzzle box every time. All right, so, okay, so there we are. And we're just gonna make sure that the case goes back on nicely. And we're gonna attach all the components here. All right, I'm doing this kind of quickly just for expedience sake. EDNC sake. Okay. okay. All right. So this thing started up again. Um, the keyboard wasn't, um, if I can just adjust the camera. Um, so the keyboard was not found on this. Uh, so basically it halted setup. So basically we're just going to hit F1 to enter setup, which is the BIOS. And there we have it. So basically, there is no password now on this computer. So if I go ahead and restart it, and you'll notice that it boots directly into the BIOS. Okay, so there we have it. So it's right directly in the BIOS, and then we can go ahead and we can do things like do the startup, and we can go in and edit the primary boot sequence, okay? And we can just make sure that all the USB keys are at the top. Uh, you'll notice that, you know, every BIOS is a little bit different. You just take a look down at the bottom here and you just kind of can change the values based upon that. Uh, in this case, it's plus and minus, right? Uh, and then we can exclude or include. Uh, and so, yeah, so basically you're just gonna go ahead and, uh, and adjust it from there, okay? But notice that now the BIOS is, is reset no passwords, and we can save, we can go ahead and save our changes here. So if I click uh, F10, save and exit, you can save the configuration and, and exit. Okay, uh, best of luck.